I broke through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Jump back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows ecrastic. I get drastic, hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. So, uh, Spencer, we have Morgan and Holly. Morgan and Holly, this is Spencer. Take it away, Spence. Hey, man. Hi. Hey, um, I was lucky enough to watch the documentary last night after getting back from South by Southwest and. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it, and I was wondering, the first thing that occurred to me is this is a really dramatic um, departure of style sort of for you, Morgan. Yeah. Uh, what made you decide to do sort of more traditional documentary for this film? What was it, you know, made you reach out and find people, Holly, and Holly, what exactly compelled you to decide to be in this? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that, uh, you know, for me, from the minute we got the idea of the film, I said this. This film is so not about me. Like it's about the it's about the people who literally have gone to Comic Con and go every year and you know want to be a part of this world. You know, it speaks to so much of what I grew up you know loving anyway as a kid who grew up loving comic books and video games and genre movies. Um, but for me, I really wanted to tell the story of the people who go there and why. And then we put out this casting call. Uh, we got incredible people like Holly submitting videos. We got about two thousand videos submitted that we narrowed down to the people that we follow in the film. And, uh, and yeah, it's a question for Holly, like, you know, what, I guess, why, why did you want to do this and what did you think about it? Um, I mean, right, right when I got the call from Morgan saying that we were one of the people, I mean, I knew that it was going to be amazing because it was finally our chance as people that go to Comic-Con, as geeks, as the people that were always like, what are you wearing? What's going on? <laughs> to show that it's totally normal. We're totally normal. And what we do is awesome. Yeah. And I knew, I knew that was what it was going to be like. And I had people being like, oh, are you sure? Are they going to portray? I'm like, yeah, I know they are because Comic-Con's amazing. Like, we're cool now. It's going to be great. So it, well, it was a great experience. It's not, it's not so much like how it's going to portray you, but did you feel pressure because you're a representative of the... the <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. Now she's, she's, like, she's like the geek ambassador. <laughs> yeah. I used to call myself that in high school, actually. So, I, you know, I think it's perfect. <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I'm honored to be a part of the film because I think it really speaks for a lot of us that are, you know, go to Comic-Con and do what we love. And that's, and that's one of the things I love about the film is I feel like the film actually gives you a window into people where you're rooting for them. You kind of start to... This film, I think, for the first time, every, you know, lets you understand and, and get a window into their passion. And you are. You're rooting for Holly. You're rooting for, you know, Skip and Eric. You know, for James, the, the, James and Say Young as, they're, you know, about, as he's about to propose to her. I mean, I think that's, that makes the film really beautiful and special. And it's sort of interesting, though, when you think about that, in sort of terms of the documentary world, like, a lot of the documentary is kind of an uncommon thing. Like, a lot of times there has to be some sort of, like, conflict or problem or whatever. It, it, was that something that you thought of? trying to structure it as that or did you just want to like a love letter basically well, I mean I feel like I, I, I feel like that um, you know that there are so many genres of movies you know there are there are comedies and there are dramas and there are thrillers and documentaries it seems like everybody seems to think like documentaries have to be like medicine and they have to be about you know you're gonna learn a lesson now and so for me it's like then okay you want a lesson my lesson for people to learn out of this film is that you know you need to understand that there is something so beautiful about this world of geek culture that now, as much as you don't want to believe it, infects all of us. All of us you know, are somehow touched by something that is at Comic-Con. All of us have some sort of a passion that is represented at Comic-Con. And that's why I tell people all the time, I don't care who you are. Like, my mom could go to Comic-Con and find something she loves at Comic-Con now. And Spen it's Spencer, really like we have Spencer. interesting, though, because how did you go about, you know, picking a, a diverse enough group that you knew something interesting was going to happen? Because you have a very small window to make yeah. this actual come together in a sort of interesting and compelling manner. Did you did you have to take your chance and roll the dice and what you could, or did you actually have stuff that wasn't included in the movie? No, or? I mean, it's like you're, you're rolling the dice. Like, you're really taking a chance as you're doing pre-interviews with people, asking them why do they want to be in the film, asking them what their plan is when they get there. You know, we're talking to Holly, asking her just about what's going on with the, with the masquerade as she's getting ready for it. And you, you are, you're taking a chance, you're taking a big risk, because ultimately, this whole film was shot over, you know, six days. You know, a little bit on the head of Comic-Con, a little bit on the tail, but we didn't do any other pickups after that. Like, we were done. When Comic-Con was over, we were finished. And if you didn't have the film during that time, then you didn't have the movie. So it was, uh, it was a gamble. But we had an amazing crew. Like, we had 150 people working on this film. It was wow. massive. Wow. It was the biggest crew I've ever had in my life. I mean, and, it, wow. and, and the film, and the film, the film is a, is a success because of that. 
And Holly, how, I mean, how has this all changed you? I mean, obviously, you know, you win during the movie, but uh, it's just like an overwhelming experience because A, you're, you're in a movie and then you're a con and like, it just seems like there's so many things going on for you. That was your last question too, Spencer. Say goodbye after this. Um, yeah, I mean, it is, it is very overwhelming. It is, it, it's, I mean, it's intense, but at the same time, it's like, it, it's been two years, you know, I've done a whole bunch, my whole life has changed since Comic-Con last, that I'm a whole different person, made a new costume. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, it, it's just, it's been a great experience. So it's, it can be nerve wracking, but I'm just really excited to get to Comic-Con again this year and see what it's like. <laughs> That's fantastic. Thank you guys so much for doing this, and I wish you both luck with everything going forward. Thanks, Spencer. Appreciate Thanks. it, man. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Too.